for a rally when the police came to the program to stop it. The incident did not, however, deter the loyalists as they later continued their procession. This is not a visual recording of a walked on situation, but a scene of Saturday's police showdown with some members of the P2B presidential support group in Abakaliki, a boy state. The supporters of the Labour Party we are converging on the pastoral center area to commence a planned roadwork for this presidential project when they were resisted by armed policemen who fired tear gas canisters to disperse them. We are urging the whole world. We are urging the United Nations of Nigeria of the, of the, uh, in the world. We are urging all peace-loving people to come into this case. There is no way democracy will be truncated by some people. The seeming confusion disrupted this exercise momentarily as resilient supporters regrouped and went ahead with what turned out a huge carnival. We are grateful to the people of Abonyi for doing what is right, for being democratic, for believing in the new Nigeria, for believing in the changing narrative. We are tired of bad government. The police authorities in Abonyi state are here to speak on to the development at the time of this report. But the state governor, Dave Omahi, has been quick in exonerating himself from the incident, saying that he was not aware of any disruption of any gathering as he didn't order any. A statement by the governor's special assistant on media and strategy, Chus Oko, knows that Omahi remains a Democrat who believes firmly in the rule of law and will insist on a level playing ground for all contending political parties in the state. The destruction of the PTB presidential campaign program in the Boeing State, Southeast Nigeria, is coming barely hours after an attack by suspected thugs on a medical outreach program organized by another OB support group in Asaba, the Delta State Capital, South South region of the country. Kelechi Ekeledo, AIT News, Abakaliki. In the meantime, the Labour Party has condemned the attack on its supporters and the, of the presidential candidate of the party, Peter B with the use of tear gas by the police during that rally you saw in the earlier report. The national chairman of the party, Julius Abure, who reacted in a virtual interview, said the action of the police on the PTRB supporters is unacceptable and should be condemned by all. It is unconstitutional and illegal. It is pertinent to put on record that the Constitution of Nigeria 1999 guarantees the right of freedom of association and assembly. Democratic tenets all over the world guarantees the freedom to assemble. And therefore, it is a rape on the Constitution. It is a rape. It is condemnable. Abu called on the Inspector General of Police to sanction the officers involved in the attack. The Emo state government wants security agencies to question an opposition politician, Ikenga Ugo Chinyere, for displaying what it terms fake voters register. The spokesman of the Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP, had in a recent media briefing reportedly claimed that there are noticeable fraud in some names listed on the voters registration for Omuwa Ward and other